assalamu alaikum everybody uh, this is uh, the implementation of the frequency function which we have used in the class and i want to show you every step how you do it how you implement it on excel okay let's start first i'll let you see the data set this is the data set and you can see here there are 20 uh, data records and there are four columns and five rows and you can extend the data number of data as much as you want on the uh, here on the bottom you can see uh, the frequency bins which is 14 19 24 29 and 34 and uh, we have discussed this that this is the maximum range uh, range of uh, uh, maximum of the range uh, like 14 is from 1 to 14 19 is from 15 to 19 it's 20 to 24 it's 21 uh, 25 to 29 and 30 to 34 okay and this is the result which should you should be getting after applying the formula here you can see the actual formula and uh, you can see when you want to put a formula in the cell you must start with an equal to sign then the frequency function bracket open the data array c4 to c18 and if you look at here my data array starts from c4 and it goes to c sorry f8 you can see on the top and left side if you go back there is a comma then c13 to c18 if you look at here that's it's c13 and this one is c17 so c13 to c17 you will put here c17 okay so i'll just change it to c17 that's it so this is the formula and after applying the formula what you have to do is to press press control shift enter control plus shift plus enter simultaneously okay if you look at here this is the position where I want to place the formula in the error format I'll just put it like this I'll select the area where I want the results to appear which is right in front of the bins then here you can see the formula is here equals to frequency c4 column c f8 comma c13 comma c17 and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to press shift control shift and enter and you will see the result control shift and enter and you can see the result appearing 36416 which is the number counted here you can count manually and verify it and if you look at here i have also placed the formula sum d1317 to do, just to make sure that i'm getting 20 records and let's have a test of this function uh, okay if i change this 7 to 15 look at the bins 14 and 19 what happens here see one is left from the first bin and one is added to the next bin is it similarly if i again change this one you can see that it's changing so the thing is that whatever you do the total will be 20 which verifies that you are getting the correct answer i hope you understand now how to implement this formula on excel now try it yourself and hopefully you will get the results thank you very much and allah office